The Super Mario franchise has tons of lovable characters with interesting stories to share. Today's video will be about Wario, who originated from the Game Boy game Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. He was the main antagonist of the game, but nowadays feels more like an anti-hero to the series, while appearing inside Mario and other friends in Mario Party games and others. When playing games like Mario Kart Wii when I was younger, Wario did not seem like a very interesting character. I thought he was just a fatter Mario with a flipped M, and that was about it. Both of these points are actually pretty wrong, though. Yes, Wario is a bigger guy than Mario, but he's actually kind of muscular, especially in his arms, a detail most people seem to look over. Also, his name is more so a combination of the Japanese word for bad and, of course, Mario. The W being a flipped version of an M is likely just a coincidence. Even with the Mario series aside, Wario has appeared in some games of his own where he is the playable character as opposed to Mario. This was the case even as early as 1994 when Super Mario Land 3 was released, which was also known as Wario Land. Of course, Wario's adventures didn't stop there. Wario Land actually had many sequels. There were a total of four games in the main series, and there was also a Virtual Boy Wario Land and Wario Land Shake It for the Wii. The fact that Wario's had so many games of his own is honestly really interesting, and almost makes me wonder if other Mario characters will also be like that. Of course there's games like Super Princess Peach and Luigi's Mansion Trilogy, all in which are Mario games in which you play as someone other than Mario. But keep in mind that Mario wasn't even actually in Mario Land 3, along with any of the Wario games afterwards. Mario, as far as I'm concerned, did appear in Luigi's Mansion 1, 2, and 3, as well as Super Princess Peach for the DS. Aside from the Wario Land series, there's even another series with Wario that's been running more recently too, the WarioWare series that began in 2003 with WarioWare Incorporated, Mega Micro Games, or Micro Game Dollar Sign? It's just how the logo looks. But anyway, this is a completely different series of games that's had games as new as 2021. The WarioWare series seems to have about 9 games so far, with the latest being WarioWare Get It Together released for the Switch in September 2021. The goal of these games seems to be to do a series of simple tasks under a strict time limit, and do this until you get a new high score. The series has a variety of new, original characters that have never appeared in any Mario games. There's also no Mario characters that have appeared in the WarioWare series. These characters mostly seem to be employees of the company WarioWare Incorporated. Wario doesn't seem to care too much about these other guys, they just help him run the company. Check out these chumps, they came back and they have wonderful new talents. Though speaking of companies, you could imagine if Wario has his own company, he must have a lot of money, right? One of Wario's defining traits that seems to constantly stick with him is his greed and love for money and gold. This greed can be seen in many cases over time. The plot of Super Mario Land 2, for example, is that he stole a castle from Mario. In other cases, like Mario spin-offs like Mario Kart Wii, there is a track called Wario's Gold Mine that also reappeared in Mario Kart 8. And in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, he is seen as one of the antagonists who tries to turn others into trophies. Honestly, this is just naming a few examples, the list likely goes on. Even though Wario has appeared under different lights, if you will, throughout time, and also is a fairly greedy guy, he can still set his greed aside to have some fun with Mario and the gang. In fact, Wario has been playable in all but one game in the Mario Party series, this one game being Mario Party Advance, which only has four characters to play as anyway. But anyway, Mario still clearly does other things with Wario, like kart racing and plays sports like tennis, golf, and others. As you could imagine throughout me talking throughout this video, my opinion on Wario has definitely changed drastically over the years. He's not one of my favorite characters, but he's definitely one of the more interesting ones of the Mario series, and there are games for him that seem to really be looked over by others. In any event, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this in the future about other characters, this might turn into a series. But for now, that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these. Thank you for watching.